In the air, deep to left field. Matt Holliday will watch it go into the bullpen. Home run. Six to nothing. And this will be a fair ball down the left field line. Chasing it is Morse into the corner, gets away, and Beltron is going to come around and score. Matt Holliday will stay at second, and the Cardinals get their first run. Ten career grand slams. And the ball gets away from Suzuki. Here comes Descalso, and he scores, and everyone moves up a base. And ball four, the third walk of the inning. And that will force in a run as Robinson will cross the plate. The bases will remain loaded. And a ground ball to shortstop. Desmond throws the first for the out and a run scores. Beltron will hold at second. And a fly ball down the right field line. Worth is chasing it and it's going to be gone. A home run. Daniel Descalso with his second home run of the series brings the Cardinals to within a run. And there's a ball hit into center field for a base hit. And the Nationals get that important insurance run and lead 7 to 5. Kurt Suzuki with his third hit of the game. Shot to center field. Harper going back and it's over his head. Bounces off the wall. Beltron, after a bobble, will hold his second. And a leadoff double here in the ninth inning by Carlos Beltron. Breaking ball, bounce to third. Zimmerman throws out Holiday as Beltron moves to third. One out in the ninth. And a foul ball out of play. And now the Cardinals down to their last strike. And it's three and two now. And ball four. And Yadier Molina draws the walk. Good pitch in on the fist. Freeze getting the fastball and fouls it. Check swing. And it's two and two. Just missing outside. And ball four. And the bases are loaded with two outs. And the tying runs are in scoring position. Coming down to the wire in this game. And there's a ball hit off the glove of Desmond. Two runs are going to score. The Cardinals are tied up. Descalso with a sharp ground ball off the glove of Ian Desmond and we have a new ball game and the Cardinals coming back and tying the game at 7-7 across the plate for the Cardinals and then the insurance run there goes the runner from first and he's in at second base Here's the 2-2 pitch and a line drive to right field. It's going to be a base hit. Two runs will score. And the Cardinals take a 9-7 lead. Pete Cosma delivers a two-run single to right field. And a 9-7 game. Four runs crossing the plate for the Cardinals here in the ninth. One and two pitch. And it's popped up. Descalso on the outfield grass makes the catch and the Cardinals hit to their seventh NLCS since 2000.
as Avila goes deep to right. There goes Victorino and a fly ball in the left. Back at the wall, it's off the wall. And Victorino, who was running with a pitch, scores all the way from first. It's five to one. Two off his career high. Here's a line drive down the left field line. That ball's going to go toward the corner, and Middlebrooks will dig into second with a one out double. Hunter comes up ready to throw, and that was a wise decision by Brian Butterfield. Bases loaded, two out. Two out. Hard hit into right. Back at the wall. Tie game! Big puppy! The grand slam! Two. Chatter back from the hole. Iglesias safe at first, and now the ball goes out of play. And down to second will go Johnny Gomes. Off the end of the bat popped up. Right side for Fielder. Has room, but he missed it. And there's no interference from the fan. That gets away, and the winning runs at third. On the count, three and one. That's a base hit. Red Sox win it. This series tied in a game apiece. as the A's have batted around here in the sixth. And there's a shot to center, and that's going to score another run. Here comes Norris. He'll score easily standing up, and it is seven to 7-3. When he's got it going. Grounded up the middle and into the glove of Lowry and into center field. Infielders crossed there, and neither could glove it. Up and getting loose, and it's Gregerson as the runner goes. And the throw is high. And then Escobar had to make sure he held the bag. To second. Sogard, nice backhand, throws him out. As Escobar moves on to third. And there's a base hit up the middle. That'll score a run. And it's seven to four. Runner going, the throw, and he's in there. Lorenzo Kane. They're at first and second with one out, and one in can bail him out of this jam. Into right center field, that's going to be down for a hit, and it's going to score a run. Lorenzo Kane crosses. The ball gets away. Here comes Hosmer. It's a one-run game. In the air, right field. Aoki is there. And the Kansas City Royals escape a bases loaded jam. To right, a long, long run from Hope to Reddick. Don't get there. It falls for a hit. And the tying run is on in the bottom half of the ninth. The bump by Escobar right back to the mound. Doolittle will go to first. And the tying run moves up 90 feet.
any kind of dribbler is a base hit. There goes Dyson. Throw to third. He is safe. The tying run has moved up another 90 feet. Rev it up. Winfield in. Fly ball right field. Reddick, a long run, makes the catch, but that's going to tie the game. It is 7-7 seven to seven in the wild card. Evenly spaced you are. Slapped into left field, and the A's have the lead. Alberto Cayaspo delivers in the 12th. In the air to left center field. Gomes is back, and so is Ford, and the ball is off the wall. Hosmer around second. He's on his way to third standing. And the tying run is 90 feet away. What an at-bat. Deck. High chopper. They'll never get him. Tie game. There he goes. And pitched out. And off the glove of Derek Norris. Now looking for a two-out hit. Pass through into left field. The Kansas City Royals are walking off into the ALDS. For the pitcher. Still can't put it in one. Here's Carpenter getting one into the air, into right, back at the wall. It's gone. Two solo home runs tonight for St. Louis. One by Gritchick. This one by Carpenter. They throw it back in the outfield, and it's a 6-2 game. Especially after I gave that great stat. That is into center, a base hit, a broken bat single into center. And that's the first Cardinal hit that isn't a home run in here in game one. Dodge trouble and high pitch counts. It's getting tougher now. Here's one into left center field. They're going to hold Holiday at second as Puy gets over to cut it off. The Cardinals have life here in the seventh inning. Nobody out. Molina gets a base hit into center. They will hold Holiday at third, and the bases are loaded on three straight hits. That's four straight. And the score is Holiday. And it's a 6 3 game. Here is a 1 1. Base hit left field. And the score is Peralta. Stopping at third is Molina. And it's a 6 to 4 game. In the air to right center. Back at the wall. It is off the base of the wall. The Cardinals are going to take the lead. Carpenter has emptied the benches. The bases, and with the three run double, St. Louis jumps on top. And it's Carpenter again. Here's a high fly ball to left. Back at the wall, it is gone. A three run home run for Matt Holliday. And just like that, St. Louis in the seventh.
It'll play a run. Out at first, two out. And it's 10 to 9. A juggle by this Kelso. And the game is over. 10 to 9 is the final in what was supposed to be a pitcher's duel here in game one. City, Alex Rios, then Escobar and Zobrist, and a base hit to start things in the visitors' eighth. Bounced up the middle, a base hit. And that brings the tying run into the on deck circle. Runners at first and second, nobody out. Play got a lot of discussion in the Mets Dodgers series. That's lined into center field. Gomez coming on. He can't make the catch. And that loads the bases with nobody out. The 1-1 to Kane. Swing and a base hit into left. It'll score at least one. Here's Rios to score easily. And the Royals, as they've done all year long, keep the line moving. It's a three-run lead for Houston. The 2-2 to Hosmer. Swung on. Lined into right field. A base hit. The line keeps moving still. Five straight hits have opened the top of the eighth. Back up the middle. Off Correa on into center field. Kansas City has tied it in the eighth. There goes Dyson again. Mustakas takes a ball up and in. Dyson's able to steal the base. Does it without a throw. And Gutierrez able to check his swing and draw ball four. What a terrific plate appearance. Gordon bounces it to second. Altuve gets to it to get the out at the bag, but the Royals have scored their fifth run of the inning to take a 7-6 lead. And there's ball four to Zobris. Game seven of the World Series last year to Madison Bumgarner. A high drive into deep right center. Gomez can only watch it, and that one is gone. Eric Hosmer's last two at-bats of this series have been big ones. An RBI single in the eighth, a two-run dinger in the ninth. Well, that's the first time he's been able to get on top of that heater. Gomez lifts a fly ball into shallow right. Orlando makes the catch, and Kansas City comes back in game four. A five-run eighth. Two insurance runs on the Hosmer homer in the ninth. And the Royals have forced a game five in Kansas City on Tuesday night. The second baseman, Goins, moving to Shields over to third, his first time up. And now a drive deep right field. Batista back. He looks up. It's gone. Shin Su Chu takes Marcus Stroman deep, giving the Texas Rangers a 2 0 lead. Well, that's what Chu can do. <laughs> a lot of people think he's just going to be a guy that's going to walk. Off the glove and Pablo's waiting for it is Andrew Stokeland. That's that ball tipped in the air. You're not getting Ben Revere. Big ball for the next two guys. <laughs> Bounce to the left side of the infield. Andrews fires across. The retired Donaldson for out number two. This time a base hit into the left field corner. Revere scores. Bautista is safe at second with an RBI double. Blue Jays kept the Rangers lead in half. By Chu. And Carlos Young with a try. We are tied at two.
to think of the same thing. Look at this. Ball's dead. Dead ball. The ball actually hit Shoe's bat as Martin went to throw it back to the pitcher. And why is it dead? Why is it dead? That ball's alive. Now Dale Scott signaled immediately. That ball's alive. Or if he threw it and it hit off the back of his bat, he's got to score. And here he scores. That's a that's a run score. I think that's the right call. I do too. Replaces the shields. Broken bat for Andrew. Andrews could not handle it. Lead off bat on for the Blue Jays in the bottom of the seventh. On the ground to the right side. season. Cologne delivers in the left. Into scores Dyson. And Kansas City is on top. 3-2.
another over the plate. Brown ball right side. And now Murphy boots another. Two on with only one out. The Royals tied it. 2 2 pitch. That is a fair ball. Down the line. One run scores. That's Cologne. Holding it third, Orlando. And it's 4 2 Kansas City in the 12th. Chicago in their division and had as many at bats as they've had against him. Was a good read for the Royals. Here's the 0 1. That's a shot into the gap in left center. Everybody takes off. One run scores. Here comes Escobar and now Zagris. Kane is emptied up. And the Royals have blown it open in the 12. 7 to 2. The one two again. Inside corner. The Royals. 2015 World Champions. here in the top of the ninth. Ball four. And the Cubs bring the tying run to the plate with nobody out. The 3 1. Lined into right field. That'll rattle around. Bryant scores easily. Rizzo held it third. And it's a two run ball game with nobody out in the ninth. Right-handed hitting during the regular season. Back up the middle and through. Rizzo scores. Here's Zobrist, and the Cubs have tied it here in the ninth. Hayward bunting. Smith will go to second. They cut down the lead man. Throw is offline. Hayward's on his way to second. The go-ahead run in scoring position now. Trying to keep that go-ahead run at bay. Baez singles back up the middle. Hayward's being waved around and Chicago has taken a 6-5 lead. Surprised at the pitch selection. And the Chicago Cubs are moving on to the National League Championship Series. Here comes a 3 1. Quig launches left field. Come on. Nothing Dodgers in the sixth. He just got a left hander. Breaking ball misses inside a leadoff walk. 3 0 from the lefty that is outside to put two on with one out.
It's 4 3. The top four spots in these two games. Here's a fly ball into left center. Back is Bellinger at the wall. The game is tied. Steve Pierce. Four, four in the eighth. Struck him out. And game number four. Against Jansen, it's a 4-4 game. Left side, fair ball. What a piece of hitting by Holt. And he digs into second base with a double. That's up the middle. The Red Sox are going to take the lead. Holt scores. Boston on top 5-4. goes ground ball to the right side Hernandez gets the out at first and by starting the runner Devers they avoid the double play walk him more than likely bring in wood against Benatendi it'll be two on shot over to third safe and the bases are loaded Turner did all he could then intended beat it into the gap in right center field this ball is down into the wall it will empty the bases Steve Pierce what a night 8-4 Boston in the ninth they got through the division series, got to the LCS. He had 17 at bats. That is in the left center field, and with the runners going, coming to the plate and scoring easily. The Red Sox add to their lead. That's Pierce. It's 9 to 4. 1 1. High fly ball to left. Back at the wall, it is gone. Hernandez. 3-2 pitch. Fly ball into shallow left center, should end it. The Red Sox are up three games to one. High drive, left field, going back. Schwarber looking up. See ya! A two-run home run! A pinch hit home run! And this place is going nuts! Two-nothing cards! Going into the ninth inning in the postseason, the record's pretty good. 93-0. When they lead by two or more runs after the eighth inning. That's lined into left center field. That's going to dunk in there for a base hit. So now Harper will come up with a chance to tie. Rio Muto with a one out single here in the ninth. <laughs> you were right. Threw him a breaking ball and it's low and inside, and that put the tying runners on base now. And that'll bring up Castellanos. 3-1. Breaking ball low and away. And the bases are loaded. The 1-1. Oh. Hit him. That'll force in a run. And it's 2-1 Cardinals. That ball hit him. Scoring is Rio Muto. And the bases remain loaded. And the 2-2. Punched out. And pass the diving. Edmund into right field. One run scores. Two run score. And the Phillies have come all the way back. And they take a 3-2 lead on the clutch. Two outs, two run single by Segura. It is 3-2 Phillies. 
Ground ball and a nice stab by Goldschmidt. He's coming home and he's safe. Sliding in is Sosa ahead of the tag. And it is 4-2 Phils. Told you 78% of the time the team that wins game one of a best of three wins the series. Chop, left side, and past Arenado, and into left field. Here comes Segura, here's the throw, he's in there. Moving to third is Stott, it's an RBI single for Marsh, and it's 5-2 Phillies. High fly ball. That'll get a run in, Deluzio makes the catch. Tagging and scoring is Stott. It's a sack fly for Schwarber, and it's 6-2 Phillies. Eflin deals the 1-1. It's short, Liam through for a base hit. Oh, another runs third. He will score. It's a pinch hit RBI single for Gorman, and the Cardinals are still alive. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll do it. The Phillies beat the Cardinals 6-3 to take a one game to nothing lead in this best of three wild card series. And what a ninth inning. On the ground, it's a fair ball. Rumbling around third, Kirk. And he will score into second with a double. You don't have to hit all of them hard. Danny Jansen makes it eight to one. Ty France and the Mariners long way to go but a good start here in the sixth. Ty France base hit into center field. One change for the Blue Jays defensively. That one punched into right field base hit Suarez. Nice job of opposite field hitting for Eugenio. And now the Mariners have two on with nobody out. And their power hitter Cal Raleigh coming up aggressively here. Raleigh a little bloop into shallow left. Tapia just in the game will dive and he doesn't catch it. And then it rolls away. And now Tapia's down like he's hurting. He's got a double. In the dirt and it kicks away from Jansen. That'll score a run for the Mariners. Ty France comes in. It's eight to two. Runs. That one is hit high to left field. Tapia going back all the way back at the wall. It is gone. Carlos Santana from his stronger side tapes Mesa deep. And the Mariners are feeling like they're back in this game. A three run homer. Line drive. Base hit left center field. Hernandez in to score. Nine to five Blue Jays. Three two. Suarez down the left field line. Tapia was playing way off the line. A long way to go and he's not going to get there. Bounces on the turf. Suarez. Did not hit it all that hard, but based on the outfield positioning, he found a spot, and it's a leadoff double. It's not easy to make these calls. Raleigh into left center field. That's going to be another hit for Cal Raleigh. Suarez around third. Tapia cuts it off. That'll hold the catcher to a single, but the Mariners on the board again. It's 9-6. to six. Still nobody out. Haniger up the middle, base hit. Two strike swing from Mitch Hanniger. Two on, still nobody out. And the tying run is going to come to home plate with nobody out in the eighth inning. Line drive, base hit left field. Mariners are going to go station to station. The lead runner, the catcher, Cal Riley. But Adam Frazier with another hit. The bases are loaded. Nobody out. Four straight hits for the Mariners. Crawford to center field, not deep. Sprinting in Springer and Bichette oh. and Springer collide. The ball falls and everybody's going to score. The Mariners have tied the game and now Bichette and Springer are laid out in the outfield. <sighs> and it's gone silent in Toronto. It's nine to nine. 
the 3 2. Kirk on the ground is second. Frazier's got it. And he throws him out. The inning is over. We will go to the ninth in a 9 9 tie. 2 1. Raleigh into the gap in right center field. That's going to get down and hop up against the wall. Cal Raleigh into second with a one out double. And this will be interesting to see if Scott Service. Frazier is. And he pulls that one into right field. That's going to be a hit, and it's going to put the Mariners ahead. Raleigh around to score. Into second with a double. 10 to 9. Mariners have come all the way back, and now they're three outs away from moving on. He had never faced Romano in a game in his career, and he jumps on the first pitch and rifles it down the right field line. Is 0 2. Tapia to center field. Rodriguez there makes the catch. And one of the great comebacks in playoff history sends the Mariners to the division series. An incredible win. It's one of the most remarkable games I've ever seen. Ever. Not afraid to mix it up. Players oblige. That ball's hit well into left field. Alvarez looks up, and this ball is gone. Hey, Eugenio Suarez goes deep. And the Mariners add on here in the seventh inning. It is seven to three as Suarez pops a home run. And Alvarez turns on one down the right field line. And this is a fair ball. Alvarez will hold up around first. That was very well played by Hanniger. Two balls and a strike. And Bregman sends one deep into left center field. This is way back. And it is gone. Alex Bregman gets the Astros off the deck. A two run blast makes it a two run game. Count Seawald fires. Oh, he missed badly. And it's a walk. Hensley draws the walk, an eight pitch battle. And now the Astros will bring the tying run to the plate. No balls and a strike to count. Here he comes. And a wave and a miss. And miss badly on the slider from Seawald. Owen oh, to the count. He delivers in the dirt. Nice play back there by Raleigh. And the one two pitch. And a swing and a line drive up the middle base hit. Pena delivers. A two out. Single up the middle. And the Astros have two on with two away. And their big thumper coming up. In to try to close it on a Tuesday. Alvarez launches deep right field. And this one is gone. And the Astros walk him off in game 